What's up, man? Welcome to Man's Accelerate Night. We're so glad it's going to be an awesome night. Let's worship together. Let's give God our highest praise. I come to you with a grateful heart for the things you've done. I come to you giving all my praise for the day you made. we lift you up we give your name thanks and praise because you're a great God you're amazing God there's no one that knows us the way you know us father you know more about us than we even know about ourselves and even when we're in our lowest moment God you still came to us and save us while we were still sinners on every man that's watching right now I want you to just begin to open your heart begin to worship him begin to give him everything right now wherever you are let's worship him together thank you Jesus Sing. he saw the best in me when everyone else around could only see the worst in me. Come on. Sing it out. He saw the best in me. When everyone else around could only see the worst in me. Sing he saw. 
He saw the best in me When everyone else around Could only see the worst in me Come on, sing it one more time He saw the best He saw the best in me
My name is Chris, and this is Brother Robbie. We just want to welcome you to the Ways Men's Accelerate Ministry. Hey. We have an incredible night planned for you tonight. We Afterwards, we're going to have some discussion, and we want to make sure that every man is connected with the power of 12. Praise God. So, hey, I have some announcements for you, men. So, due to the coronavirus, we did have to reschedule our men's events. I know I wanted to be up in the mountains sooner than later, but it's all right. Like I said, it is rescheduled. So right now we want to continue to push forward strong. Again, if you don't know anybody or you yourself um, haven't signed up to be registered as well, we want you to go ahead and go to the app underneath the men's banner. We can have you register yourself or you could go ahead and call the church, which is open from Monday through Friday from nine to five. And again, man, we want you men to be more involved. So if you're asking, how can I get involved? We want you to go ahead and call the church as well and ask for Pastor Armando so that some he'll plug you in one way or another to get you involved. That's right. We just want to thank you again for joining in and also share this link. If right. you have any family members or, or friends out there, share this link.
when you get to the end of your life, you are saying that there is nothing to stop there. Once you say the Lord is going to be dead in our lives, you bear the fact that you pray on the power of the Holy Spirit. You are going to be the one who will have you come to church. You are going to be the one who will have you come to church. You are going to be the one who will have you come to church. So just there, the same thing is 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 the same thing
Another car and a great example of how important
Thank you so much, Mondo, for that just great word and just reminding us the great value that we have to God. And also that uh, we're made in the image of God. What I love about that Genesis scripture is the fact that after God made us in his image, his first priority was to walk with man every single day in the garden. And really that's what it comes down to, guys. Are we walking with God? every single day he wants a personal relationship with you and just how he sees the value in us and created us and only he knows the purpose for our lives and so it's important that we walk with him because he's the one that's going to be able to guide us and help us and speak to us and and inform to inform us what his true purpose is for our lives and just like a car needs a key to start up you can have a beautiful car sitting there but if you don't have the key to fire that car up you're not going to get to where you want to go and he's given us a key in his son jesus christ jesus christ is the key to our life he's the one you need he's the one we need to ask into our heart he's the one that ushers in the holy spirit into our life that empowers us to accomplish everything we need that's why jesus said to his disciples I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if you don't have Jesus in your heart, today's the day. I'd ask you just to repeat after me. Say, Dear Jesus, I thank you for coming to this earth. 
I thank you that God so loved me that he sent you, that I might walk with you, that I might invite you into my life. Lord, I repent right now. I repent, Lord Father God. I turn from what my life is right now, and I want to turn towards you. I want to walk with you the rest of my days. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I thank you for your salvation, Lord, right now. You're my King, and you're my God. I submit my life to you. And if you're here and you're watching this today, and maybe you say, you know what? I've asked Jesus into my heart, but if I'm honest, if I'm truly honest, I'm not walking with Him. But today, I want to recommit my life to Him. I want to walk with Him. I want to, I want to make Him a priority. I want to put Him first in my life. Maybe you're like that prodigal son. You just went out and you're just, you're just out with the pigs and just know the Father is waiting for you to come home right now. I just want to say a quick prayer for you too. Say, Dear Jesus, I'm coming home. I'm coming home right now. I surrender my life afresh and anew today. I'm making you my priority. I thank you, Jesus, that you never give up on me. You always see the best in me. In Jesus' name, amen. You're created in God's image. Don't forget that. Love you guys.